Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will give you an update on the Castro Valley real estate market for the month ending in August 2021. What I will also do is give you an update on how the year is progressing and compare it all the way to the beginning of January 2020 and see how far we've come. All the information is from our local real estate board. So let's begin with our August update first and start with the 94546 for condos and townhomes. Number of closed transactions, August 2021, we had two sales. August 2020, we had eight, a big decline there. Average days on the market, it's selling much faster last month compared to August of 2020. From 33 days on the market to only seven days. That's crazy fast. The median list price is up 43% from 514,000 to 737,000. Median sales price up a big 60% from 514,500 to 827,000. Let's move on to single family detached homes. Number of closed transactions is down from 49 sold back in August of 2020 to only 40 this past August. Average days on the market, houses are selling faster from 17 days, which is not bad, down to 11 days. The median list price is up from 829,000 to 987,500. That's an increase of 19%. Median sales price from 860,000 to 1.1 million. That's up almost 28%. Let's move on to 94552 and let's look at condos and townhomes. Number of closed transactions, we have three versus only one back in August of 2020. Average days on the market way down or much faster from 148 days down to only eight days. Median list price is down from 900,000 to 699,000. Median sales price is also down 920,000 to 800,000. I should point out here that the one loan transaction back in August of 2020 was one of those higher end townhomes in the Palomares Hills while the three transactions that we have this past August are all smaller townhomes or condos. So it's not like the price is declining, but rather the type of condos and townhomes that are selling. They're not exactly the same. Same thing with 94546. Let's look at single family detached homes. Number of closed transactions is about the same from 12 to 13. Average days on the market, slightly selling faster from nine days to seven days. The median list price from 1,288,500 to 1,399,000, up almost 9%. Median sales price from 1,280,000 to 1,610,000, up almost 26%. Wow. As we head into the fourth quarter of 2021 and on to the new year, I thought it might be informative to see how prices have been not only since August of 2020, but all the way back to the beginning of January 2020. Check out this graph that I have for detached homes for 94546. In 2020, the median sales price for detached homes in the 94546 zip code barely touched a million dollars mark until December of that year. In 2021, so far only Feb and March, that was below 1 million. We touched the $1.2 million mark twice back in April and in July. The price increase from January of 2020 to the end of August 2021 is huge. 22%. That means if you have waited to buy a house, it's now going to cost you or costing you almost $200,000 more now. And I'm only talking about the price appreciation. I'm not even talking, uh, I'm not even taking into account the interest rates that you will pay in 30 years for that additional 200,000. The good news, the rates are still low. Let's see detached homes in the 94552 and check out January 2020 to August of 2021. For 94552, we started January of 2020 at a median home price of $1.1 million and it has never gone below the 1 million mark. June of 2020 was the lowest at 1 million 60. So if back in January of 2020, you waited to buy a house until now, you will be paying a whopping 510,000 more or 46% increase. That's mind boggling. Let's just let that sink in for a moment. Say you bought at $1.1 million and now it's at 1.6 million. Actually, if you finance that purchase, say you put down 20%, that 20% is equal to 220,000. You actually gained not 46%, but almost 132% on that 220 down payment. What do you guys think? If you live in Castro Valley, do you think we still continue to go up or follow the national trend that says 
things are going to start cooling off. Hey, thanks for watching, you guys. Next week, we will look at the real estate market report for the East Bay. Subscribe so you won't miss out. Have a great day.